today topic on flow blue, history and value of blue and white antique china. If you enjoy our first video do not forget to hit like share and subscribe. So let's start today's topic. Sorry for this video long time. What is flow blue? Stream blue is exceedingly collectible, old-fashioned blue and white china. The vintage dishware was most prominent amid the Victorian time and has encountered a few surges of recharged fame in the previous 45 years. Stream blue is a kind of antique china called transferware. The generation of this alluring dishware creates a delicate, foggy quality in the plan that was initially an oversight. The splendid white foundation appears differently in relation to the delightful cobalt blue shade of the embellishment. How Flow Blue was invented and produced In the late 18th century, Chinese porcelain was a to a great degree looked for after item in England. The rich blue examples, hand painted on a brilliant white foundation, were extremely costly and restricted to the wealthier class. It assumed control 100 years for English potters to copy the salt-coated pottery that made the splendid white foundation, alongside the use of cobalt oxide that made the oriental blue examples so appealing. In the late 1700s, English potters made a strategy for engraving an outline on china called transferware. A copper plate is engraved with a plan and warmed. Cobalt oxide is connected onto the engraved copper plate. Moist tissue paper is then connected to the engraved copper plate. The tissue is lifted off the copper plate and afterward connected onto the ceramics. The earthenware piece is set in water with the goal that the tissue paper coasts off. There is some conflict about the correct beginning of flow blue. A few sources guarantee that the shading specialist diffused coincidentally, enabling the cobalt oxide to somewhat seep outside of the lines of the plan. Different sources say that the dissemination was purposeful with a specific end goal to relax the edges of the example. Maybe it was a mischance at to begin with, with the outcome being pretty to the point that the training turned out to be more typical. Advancement of Patterns Source The acquaintance of transferware with the China business made an item that was more affordable than imported, hand-painted Chinese porcelain. The reasonable item was extremely alluring to the surging Victorian white-collar class. At initially, transferware flow blue examples consolidated oriental outlines and themes, including sanctuaries, pagodas, and Asian view. Afterward, the Victorian sentimental sensibility made a business opportunity for botanical and peaceful examples that featured English culture. Processing Plant Seconds In production line seconds, the shading operator flooded and obscured the edges of the outline. In industrial facility seconds, the shading specialist flooded and obscured the edges of the outline. Source Producers ended up with a wealth of industrial facility seconds and thirds, rejected in light of the fact that the blue flooded into the white more than expected, obscuring the example lines exorbitantly. The United States gave a market to these production line seconds. The ease of these rejected, yet lovely, Bits of blue and white dishware influenced flow to blue prominent with the center and common laborers. From 1840 to 1870, the notoriety of flow blue rose, and in the late 19th century and mid 20th hundreds of years it had its awesome prime. Propagations Stream blue reproduction from the 1980s Stream Blue Reproduction from the 1980s Source An enthusiasm for collectibles made another surge of fame of Flow Blue for authorities in the late 1960s. 
Restored enthusiasm for the late 20th century made interest for blue and white antique china and additionally for proliferations for general use in the home. Four basic styles. Stream blue china comes in four fundamental styles. Sentimental examples highlight peaceful scenes including trees and creatures and in addition curious town scenes and montages. The most looked for after adaptations of flow blue sentimental scenes are Watto by John William Adams, 1890-1910 Nonpareil by Burgess and Lee, 1891-1900 Italian Scenery by W. Adams, 1890 Jenny Lind by Arthur Wilkinson, 1895 Excelsior by Thomas Fell, 1850 Oriental Examples influence an Asian style and may delineate sanctuaries, pagodas, Asian view including mountains and gardens, and individuals wearing Chinese-style dress. A few alluring collectible examples in the Oriental style include Cinda by John and George Alcook, 1840 Amoy by Davenport, 1844 Kashmir by Thomas Edwards, 1850 Intrigue by Thomas Edwards, 1847 Mania by Podmore and Walker, 1845 Botanical examples include blooms, leaves, and vines. The most collectible florals include Argyle by W. H. Grindley, 1898 Lonsdale by Ridgeways, 1910 Blue Danube by Johnston Brothers, 1900-1904 La Belle by Wheeling Pottery of West Virginia, 1900 Seville by Wood and Sons, 1900 Brush Stroke is another kind of flow blue that incorporates hand-painted brush strokes. It has a pink or copper gloss and may incorporate different hues other than white and blue. Aster and Grape Shot, or Blueberry, by Joseph Clemenson in Canada, 1840. Spinach or Hops Petrius Regout. Tulip and Sprig by Thomas Walker, 1845. Strawberry by Thomas Walker, 1856. Blue Bell. 1845 to 1850. Here's additional about the most attractive examples in all these four styles. Step by step instructions to value flow blue. A flow blue sugar bowl by Wentworth. An in place sugar bowl is more profitable than, say, a plate. The sugar bowl has more parts that can break so the in-place handles and top make this an important thing. A flow blue sugar bowl by Wentworth. An in-place sugar bowl is more significant than, say, a plate. The sugar bowl has more parts that can break, so the in-place handles and top make this a profitable thing. Source There is a wide assortment of sorts and qualities in the flow blue market. Proliferations hold little esteem however are superb for home utilize, when you would prefer not to serve Sunday supper on plates that may cost $100 each. Estimations of antique flow blue pieces vacillate with the request, the economy, the uncommonness of a piece, and its condition. Elements that increase the value of flow blue. Condition no splits or chips. Kind of piece, because irregularity expands esteem, presence of mind recommends that specific pieces have turned out to be rarer because of breakage. Things within place tops, gushes, 
or handles will be more profitable in light of the fact that these pieces break all the more effectively when moved or utilized. For each outstanding tea kettle, flavor, or sugar bowl, there will be many plates, dishes, and saucers. Unordinary or extremely old pieces will be more profitable. The most effective method to identify flow blue. The producer's stamp on the base of this piece is blurred to the point that it is hard to peruse. The producer's stamp on the base of this piece is blurred to the point that it is hard to peruse. Source Better Dishware has a producer's stamp on the base. Take a gander at the producer's stamp and observe all the data that you can. There are books that can enable you to distinguish the kind of flow blue that you claim or to demonstrate to you the examples that may intrigue you later on. Google the words or the shapes in the outline of the stamp. This will prompt a rundown of items made by that maker in that outline. Google Pictures may help you to perceive your particular bit of flow blue. Substitutions Limited offers an extensive variety of dishware and is an awesome place to look for an example and also esteem. Look at the destinations where Flow Blue is sold. eBay and merchant locales can propose the present estimations of your own China. Obviously, on the off chance that you wish to offer your Flow Blue, you may need a composed examination by a respectable collectibles merchant, contingent upon what you think your piece is worth. Stream Blue can be found for as meager as $35 on up to $500, contingent upon condition, style, sort, age, and market request. A portion of the most established pieces might be greatly profitable or gallery quality. The most effective method to care for old China. Keep away from solid temperature changes. Never perfect old china in a dishwasher. Hand wash with warm water, utilizing a gentle cleanser, sparingly, and a delicate material. Wash with cool, not frosty, water. In the event that stacking china for capacity, put a delicate material or paper towel between pieces. Written by Musamal Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for updates.